All right, I want to go over with you guys. Um, now that you know how to draw the perspective, I'm going to go over one point, and then I'm going to do another video with a two-point perspective, um, adding doors, windows, other th some other things. Um, you can always go on to YouTube and look up even more detailed um, additions that you can make to your buildings or your houses and such. Um, I'm just going to do very basic. Um, and then we can build from there. If you have any specific questions on, um, if you wanted to draw something specific, let me know. I can probably work out a way to do a video. Um, if you request a specific thing to add to your project drawing. So we're going to start with this side. It's going to be super simple. Every single thing is just going to be straight lines. You're not going to use the vanishing point at all because remember you draw with one point perspective, you draw the side of the building first. So if you wanted to add a door, you would just draw some vertical lines and horizontal, put a little doorknob on there. Same for windows. If you want to draw windows, you are just drawing My lines are crooked. They should not be. Pretty simple, depending on what size window and things like that. Now, if you wanted a sidewalk coming out of your door, you would line it up with the vanishing point on both sides and there would be a sidewalk and again all the lines if you wanted it to be like a concrete one that you've got the little lines in between they would all be parallel to the base like so now for doors and windows on this side of your building. All your vertical lines are going to just be straight up and down. So you will start with the edges of your door, just like we started with the other, but the top of the door is going to go towards, let me just move this back a tiny bit. And, um, going to go towards your vanishing point, so and you can just draw it on the door. Your circle would be more of an oval because it's at an angle. Let's see if I can make this. Let's do this. All right. Same thing with... I think those lines are crooked. Looks a little funky. If they were perfectly straight, it would be a lot better. Um, windows. Same thing with windows. Although you're going to be drawing, let's draw one big window. So your window, the top of your window is going to go from your vanishing point. So will the bottom part of your window. Erase any extra lines. Now the line in the middle, straight up and down, is going to be straight up and down. But the one in the middle is also going to follow your vanishing point. So those are pretty simple. Um, if you wanted to put an awning on your over your doorway, I would just draw one line, draw another line. Or you could draw your curve awning and then so then you wouldn't see the top of your door and you'd have your awning here and straight there so that is another simple 
you just drew two lines to your vanishing point. If you wanted to go in and make it a little wavy, that's fine. You just follow the direction of that line. Or you can do stripes. You can make it however fancy you would like. That changes the whole look of it. Um, if you wanted a sidewalk coming down the street, Again, your lines would all be, if you wanted some, some concrete dividers, do your best to make sure that it is parallel. And you have a sidewalk. There's a cute little building. Um, there will be another video posted of two-point perspective and adding windows and doors on those buildings as well. If you have any other questions, let me know. One other little comment. You can add all the little details that you want onto here. We're going to be painting this at the very end. Um, so however detailed you draw is how detailed it will get painted, which is totally up to you you can have little plants but if you have a tree say we had a tree right here and we it was going to be big i'm just going to draw some squiggles right now to get the general shape size of the tree if i wanted to have another tree back here it would be smaller because as things go back, they get smaller. So here you could have the same type tree, but it would be a little bit bigger than that one, smaller than this one. Now, if you have trees, don't draw them like this for finished products. We would go in more detail and fix those up. Any questions, please let me know. Um, otherwise, if this is the perspective that you choose, then use these, this guide for majority of your drawing additions. It will help you tremendously. If you have any specific ones you want, contact me. We'll get those um, directions to you so you can draw that in your pictures.